Tutors, we are going over cycle one, week 19, uh, science. The experiment is called crystals. For this, we will need Epsom salts, liquid dish soap, warm to hot water. We're bringing this hot pot so that we have hot water so that the crystals dissolve a little faster. A jar, a stirring tool, and magnifying glasses for each of the students. We also have a cloth and a surface to um, put our crystals on. I also added a black piece of paper, not only to look at the crystals on the glass surface, but also it gives a great uh, crystal pattern as well. Um, for this experiment, I also will pass around this iPad. It gives a great backlight to show the definition of the crystals. So first, we're going to stir together a third a cup of Epsom salts and half a cup of water until it's fully dissolved. Now, it's going to take about five minutes to fully dissolve this salt in the hot water and luckily we are using hot hot water um, so use caution when you're allowing the students to uh, stir the water but there's definitely an opportunity for all the students to stir in the water because it does take so long So we're going to stir for about five minutes until the crystals are completely dissolved. At this point, we put in two drops of soap, one to two. Definitely get the kids involved for that. Stir this in. And then you're going to want to apply the solution. I found a paper towel works great for this. Do be cautious because the water is still warm. So you can very easily put the water on the glass. This is plexiglass, not actual glass, uh, just so we don't have a a chance of cutting the students. It is sharp, but it's not as sharp as glass. And then I also decided to try a pipe cleaner to see how that works. It definitely has bigger um, droplets of water, but I noticed that gives you a little bit prettier crystal. So we're gonna do that to both the plexiglass and set it to the side. That's going to take at least 30 minutes to fully dry, maybe up to an hour, depending on how hot your water is. The paper, on the other hand, only takes about five minutes to dry. So that's why I would recommend having the paper, just so your students can have a chance to see the crystals um, and before science is over. Or you can just bring it all to the end of your CC day. So we set both of those to the side to dry. In about five minutes, this is what you can expect from the um, black paper. Definitely give your kids, students, a chance to look at this under the microscope and make observations. And then also the plexiglass. So this is the side that um, we used the cleaner with, the pipe cleaner with, and this is the side that we use the cloth. And there are still crystals on both sides. There's beautiful crystals on both sides, but definitely the crystal patterns are a little bit more noticeable when you have those larger clumps of water distributed. Um, definitely that needs to dry. It takes 
it, it probably took upwards to 40 minutes to fully dry. So that's with the cloth and the, the um, pipe cleaner. Another way to look at it is on, on a backlit. And they get a little bit better of an idea of those crystals backlit. Still with the pipe cleaner and the cloth. And each student should have that magnifying glass. So very fun experiment. Um, the actual experiment part, probably not more than 10 minutes. The drying time is what takes the longest on the plexiglass. Like I said, the paper, maybe five minutes. Um, and it's beautiful, but I wanted to give you all both options. Uh, thank you all for everything you do for our community and our students. I really appreciate you.